Hello everyone, my name is Priya Mehta and this is my channel Speak and Span Life. Today we are discussing very important topic or the basic topic of English language that is parts of a speech. When it comes to learn a language, any language of the world, it is very important to know that what are the parts of a speech of that language. And we are talking about English. So in English there are total 8 parts of a speech. Many people may say that there are more than 8 parts of the speech. They include articles and determiners. But basically and traditionally we have only 8 parts of the speech. Let's see which are they. Number 1 noun. 2 pronoun. 3 verb. 4 adjective. 5 adverb. 6 preposition. 7 conjunction and 8 interjection. Let's talk about each of them one by one. First one is noun. Noun is the name of person, place, animal, thing, idea or feeling. Examples Ravi, woman, doctor, lion, Peacock, Indoor, Africa, Road, Pen, Ship, Love, Dream, Talent, etc. Let's see how these nouns can be used in sentences. Number 1. There are 4 chairs in the living room. Chairs are things. Living room is place. Which means chairs and living room are example of noun. Next example. Nitin looks dashing in his black jacket. Nitin is name of a person and jacket is name of a thing. So Nitin and jacket are examples of noun. Next part of speech is pronoun. Pronoun is a word that can be used in the place of a noun, which means it replaces noun. Some examples, he, you, I, we, they, etc. Let's see how we can use these in a sentence. Rita is my classmate. Here Rita is a noun. She is very intelligent. In the second sentence, we have replaced noun Rita with a pronoun she. Second, Suraj and Poonam have some doubts. Here Suraj and Poonam are noun. And we will replace these with a pronoun. They should ask the question to the teacher. Here they is pronoun which replaces the noun Suraj and Poonam. Come to the next one. Verb. All action words or doing words are called as verb. Examples, play, speak, likes, brought, etc. Let's see the use. Boys are playing cricket. Here boys are doing some action. Are playing. Are playing is the example of verb. Next sentence. Mukesh Ambani is a rich man. Is. Is verb. I have a magical pencil. Here have is verb. After looking at these examples we can say that 
A verb is a word that is used to denote an action, the condition of the subject or what is possessed by the subject. Respectively in example number 1, 2 and 3. Fourth part of a speech is adjective. Words that describe a noun or a pronoun and provide more details about them are called as adjectives. Examples Beautiful, new, old, red, thin, etc. Now the time is to see some sentences with adjectives. 1. Your bangles are lovely. Your lovely tells something about your bangles. So lovely is adjective. Second, grandmother told me an interesting story. Here what type of story it was? It is interesting. The interesting is adjective. Next one. Spitting on the road is a bad habit. Your bad tells us about the type of habit. So, lo lovely, interesting and bad are adjectives. Fifth part of a speech is adverb. A word which tells us something more about a word an adjective or another adverb is known as an adverb. Examples Smoothly, Honestly, Very, T002, Slowly, etc. Let's see some sentences with it. Someone is waiting outside. Your waiting is verb. And outside is the adverb which tells us about the verb waiting. Second, her voice is very melodious. Your melodious is adjective and very adds something more to the adjective. So very is adverb. And third, she speaks very softly. Your softly is adverb and very is again an adverb. So here we can see an adverb can tell us more about verb, adjective or adverb. Next one is number six, preposition. A preposition is a word often placed before a noun or a pronoun to show its location in relation with some other word in the sentence. I would like to repeat this one. A preposition is a word often placed before a noun or a pronoun to show its location in relation with some other word in the sentence. Examples In, on, under, ever, into, etc. Some sentences with a few prepositions. Number one My water bottle is kept on the table. Here the word on is the preposition and it tells us the location of water bottle which is a noun and in relation with the table which is the another noun. Next sentence. There is no space in the storeroom. Here the word in is preposition. 
and it tells us the relation of space with related to with regard to the storeroom third sentence the meeting will start at 4 pm your at is the preposition which tells us about the meeting in relation to the time 4 pm now we come to the seventh one conjunction or connector a conjunction is a word that connects sentences words or group of words in a sentence examples are and but so as well as unless etc sentences with some conjunctions number 1 she is crying she fell down these are two different sentences now we'll try to join them she is crying because she fell down here the word because is conjunction next sentence don't make noise the teacher will scold you will add both of these sentences into one sentence and the sentence is don't make noise otherwise the teacher will scold you here otherwise is the conjunction now we have come to the last part of speech that is interjection the words that express sudden feelings emotions or greetings are called as interjection example hello alas bravo oh hush wow all these are examples of interjection let's see some sentences using them one hello nice to meet you hello is greeting which is interjection bravo you have given a tough competition bravo is interjection third and the last sentence wow look at the moon your wow is the sudden emotion or feeling came out and this is example of interjection here we complete all eight parts of speech in english this video was a brief introduction of each of the parts of speech in the next videos we'll deal with each of them in detail for now hit the like button if it is useful to you and if you have any more queries kindly write in the comment box thank you